Will the Clone Wars change this game forever? What's going on, guys? Roger Mack here, Goggle Man. We're going to be talking about the new mechanics for Star Wars Unlimited in Set 3, Twilight of the Republic. And we're back. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> and, we're back. and we're back. All right. So we've got two new mechanics for Set 3. What do we think about Two it? new mechanics. I mean, I think, it's, I think they're going to change the game. I, I, think I think so, too. It, the, will Set 1, do you think those cards will even make it? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, who Set knows? Three, we'll have another. to see. It's clearly just leagues ahead and above. Um, like, the power scale has, like, <laughs> gone crazy. I think so, too, yeah. So let's go over them. Let's get into this. So we're going to talk the first one here, and this is coordinate. So what this requires is, with coordinate on the card, I'm going to use Plo Koon as an example. So it says coordinate raid three, gain this keyword while you control three or more units. And so what coordinate means is if you control three or more units, your card, whether it is an event or a leader ability or a unit, will gain the ability that is used with the coordinate. So, so for Plo Koon, the, the keyword coordinate follows the keyword. Yeah. So okay. for Plo Koon, he gains a raid three if you control three or more units. Now, coordinate will always be three or more units. That will always be the condition that needs to be okay. met. So three or more units, that will never change unless in future sets, who knows? But at least for this different. set. Yeah, it's always three. And on top of that, the thing to remember is your unit counts towards that number of three condition oh, to trigger the that's ability. That's not that bad. So you really only need, like, you uh, only need hard to get. Yeah, to it's, it doesn't say three other. It is just three units you need to control. And so you really only need two other units to gain that ability and we've seen a bunch of cards already that have different coordinate abilities that gets triggered like the ahsoka leader uh, her leader ability is if you have coordinate triggered you can tap her to attack with the unit and, get, and it gets plus one so again you have to have three units but then you gain a leader ability and then when she's deployed she just has a passive coordinate plus two attack so if you have two other units, when she yeah. comes out, she'll get plus two attack, which oh, is super good. that would be a good tempo swing. You get a yeah. really good trade that way. Yeah, good and doable, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's been some that are kind of lackluster that we've seen as far as, like, some of the commons. Um, okay. Like, there's a, there's a Coruscant guard that it gains ambush, but it's like a 3-2. So, I mean, really... Why are you going to ambush a three two into anything? But yeah. it does, it does defeat something we need to talk about. Um, oh, so good. coordinate, coordinate is the republic side of this set. So all coordinate cards will only be republic cards. FFG said this in one of their live streams, and so the best way to use coordinate is with clone troopers. The Clone Wars are here. That's what we got to use. So new to this set, there is two new types of units, and they are tokens. One of them is Clone Trooper tokens, and one of them are Battle Droid tokens. So both of those tokens um, can be made with various cards in this set, and that's kind of like the thing of this set. That's what you do. Well, so and kind of like mechanic, basically. Yeah, kind of like a new mechanic. It's you not could a say. keyword though, but it's like it hasn't been done in the game before. We're making a yeah. new token. For it hasn't game. been hasn't been done in the game, and like all the cards do it. Like so many of the cards on the hero side, we have Captain Rex. He's actually one of the starter deck cards. Oh, when yeah, he's played, six, he's a six drop. He, six drop four four which is below stat right that's pretty bad for six but when he's playing you create two clone trooper tokens aren't clone troopers and like two twos yep so clone so troopers kind of overstated it is overstated is wild, yeah you're though. you're getting eight stats for six i think that's a good way to look at in this game specifically like this this token creation where 
okay, I'm playing one card really below curve, but you're also getting stats on the board, which is sometimes better than just stats in one yeah, place. Yeah, kind of reminds me of Doctor Doom. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, Hearthstone. So Hearthstone had oh. had a unit that did that made two guys who were also twos. And it was a different yeah. game, but uh, you know the tempo of how you play cards is kind of similar. Like you have like one card, then you can maybe get two or three, and then you can kind of get more. Yeah. Um, so like uh, it was around the sixth turn, um, and you know having the extra stuff is really good. Yeah. Yeah, I think it will be relevant in this game a lot. So clone trooper tokens are hero. They're just hero. So they're just white and they're two, two. They are Republic clone and troopers. Those are the traits. Okay. And then battle droids are battle droids. They are just black. So they're just villainy and they are one ones and they are separatist droid troopers. Okay. So both are troopers and then they both go into the Republic and the Separatists, which is, you know, just going with the lore. Oh, yeah. Um, lore accurate. So, yes, yeah, sim- it's lore, lore accurate. accurate. Yeah. <laughs> so, similar to, like, Rex, um, there's the Battle Droid Escort for droids. So, that's a three cost. It's just villain. This is also a structure deck card. Ooh. And it's when played, when defeated, create a Battle Droid token. So, again, it, awful stats, because it's 1-1 one, one for yeah. three. But you're getting three three worth of stats on the board um Mm -hmm. it seems that which is funny because it also kind of goes with the lore of the clone wars is the cards that make droid tokens tend to make them faster and you know (laughs) because droids are easier to make than clones because clones are real people um but they're like to be raised right yeah but the, the yeah they're like incubated um the clone cards are more so like i'm playing a guy that makes a clone trooper token that's like much more on curve like rex that's like the Um, future of the game (laughs) yeah yeah we'll we'll have to see um which one ends up working out more but on the other side of coronate with clones the droids and the separatists bring something called exploit which is a little bit more scarier so we got to talk about that which is the other new mechanic so exploit is a way to cheat out any type of bigger unit by sacrificing your units so we're looking at the hailfire tank this one has an explanation of it and it reads while playing this card defeat up to two units you control this card costs two less for each defeated unit this way Okay. So, a couple of things to clarify, because I'm sure these will be questions that will get asked. Yeah. And uh, we've had this clarified by FFG as well. Exploit will always cost two less per unit that you sacrifice. Okay. So, it, it will never change it to where, okay, sacrificing one unit costs three less, or sacrificing two units make it cost six less. It will always be two less for each unit defeated so what yeah so what varies in the exploit like lettering with what ability it is is how many units you can sacrifice so like the hail fire tank it has exploit two so you can only sacrifice two units and if you sacrifice two units then it costs four less because it's two being reduced from its cost per unit so four less so i mean do an easy math you can just go okay if this has exploit two i multiply it by two which means i can subtract four from its cost well easy way to figure out like okay is this something worth playing with exploit now the droid tokens though that's kind of going to be the ticket and similar to public only having coordinate separatists will only have exploit so there will not be a republic card that has exploit because they don't like sacrificing their guys you yeah know? That's wrong. but the separate separatists <laughs> yeah that's wrong they don't do it but the separatists they don't care 
they sacrifice all the droids to make bigger droids. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's like that's what they'll do. They'll make they'll do that. Yeah, and that's how like some of their droids like kind of look. They'll look yeah. like a modded droid. Yeah, like so there's one. There's like a buff one. <laughs> there's been some scary stuff that have, that's been previewed for Separatists with Exploit. Um, like there is a the Separatist Super Tank, which costs nine for an eight eight ground tank, but it has Exploit three, which Whoa. means you can get six reduced for it so you can play it for three if you sacrifice three guys but you get an eight eight ground unit <laughs> gosh just just, just crazy yeah if you talk about that starter deck card you can play yeah that you literally yeah you got that like <laughs> yeah. yeah that's yeah because that, like uh the, also the conversion kind of up trades too so yeah. like uh that three cost you get three uh, one ones over time um, so like would timing because that one is like when defeated you make another token um, yeah you have to pay them all at cost so like you can't sacrifice the guy for one of your exploits and then the token gets made and pay that it all happens at the same time so, all so the like, payments at once, and then other yeah, payments. the payment the payments at once. The the okay. targets that are being sacrificed all get sacrificed at one time. Okay. Um, now, after you resolve that, then you can trigger when play when defeated ability. So, like yeah. if you exploit uh, super laser tech and the battle droid escort, you can kind of choose which one you want to do first. I don't really think that would ever matter. Like. Do I want to make my resource first or play a token first? Yeah. Um, I don't think that would matter really at all. But so yeah, you can't you can't kind of cheat it that way. You're already cheating. You don't yeah. need to cheat more. Like <laughs> you're come already on. cheating out. Yeah, come on, don't get greedy, guys. <laughs> you're already cheating out giant units. You don't need to super cheat more. the system. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be something. I think both of them are good. We'll just have to see what kind of gets coordinate and what gets exploit. And yeah, because like the those two is, is like it's the pudding. You know, like what's, yeah. what's gonna how that gonna form? Um, you know, decks in general. Like, will old decks just get modded with clones or get modded with droids and then just become monsters? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, who knows? We'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see if it can even keep up doing it that way and just token spam. But yeah, we just got to wait till we see more cards and, and if it's possible and, and go from there. Yeah, the Clone Wars is the future of the game. Be gone. The Clone Wars app. <laughs> All right, guys. If you are hyped for the Clone Wars, if you're hyped for set three, let us know in the comments. We, in the comments we think this uh these new mechanics are going to be great uh subscribe for the vibes like the video hit this uh the bell notification button and uh let us know what you think 23 it's in plain sight it's a mirage it's not a facade feel the power of an overwhelming garage or join and enjoy the ferocity of team garage